Consuming up to 6,000 liters of diesel, the passenger locomotives that will operate on phase one of the standard gauge railway between Mombasa and Nairobi will have a top speed of 158 kilometers per hour. This is expected to reduce the duration taken by passengers to four and a half hours down from the current eight hours it takes by road. The second batch of two locomotives and 32 passenger coaches will dock at the port of Mombasa tonight and be offloaded tomorrow morning in an exercise to be supervised by the Kenya Railway's managing director, Atanas Miner. Another three locomotives are expected from China next month, with the remaining set to be shipped in March this year. GR, you can be assured that as the containers come to this country, the SGR from the Marshall Yard, they'll be quickly offloaded into the train and into Nairobi, Naivasha, eventually Kisumu, Malaba, eventually Kampala. And according to the Kenya Railways, the ultra-modern trains will have an overall length of 220 meters with economy class handling 118 passengers in each of the coaches and 32 in the first class coach. Depending on passenger demand, KRC plans to operate four trains daily within the first four years with the target of ferrying one million passengers annually on the standard gauge railway between July this year and the year 2021. This coming to the port of Mombasa with a cruise ship. These are luxury liners coming with high-end tourists. Now from Mombasa, they can take four hours to Nairobi with SGR. Kenya Railways is banking on the modern features such as Wi-Fi, food service areas and a modern crafted interior to attract more customers to the railway service. Earlier in the month, Kenya Railways received six locomotives with a total of 56 locomotives, 1,620 freight wagons and 40 passenger coaches expected before official operation in June this year. Ronald Willie, News Our Business.